All right, so this course is all about getting our feet wet with Angular 2. So if you are someone who has never seen Angular 2 before, and if you've never touched a line of Angular 2 code in your life, then you're in the right spot because we're really going to get down to basics here. And we'll see kind of step by step how to wire up an Angular 2 application. And the application that we make is going to be this one here, and it's called ng2 cribs. It's basically a real estate listing application. So we can do various things like go in and inspect the details of our listings. We can add Add new ones in and then we can also sort them in various ways as well and this is going to give us a sense of some of the features that angular 2 has and those features would be things like angular 2's repeater so this is something that's very common in single page application frameworks we have a repeater that lets us take a list of data and then provide a single template for it and just list out that data on the screen and then we'll see things like how to use angular 2's forms and then also things like pipes so pipes give us the ability to arrange our data in certain ways and to kind of modify it when it gets displayed on the screen. We'll also talk about some things like Angular 2's HTTP implementations so that we can make network requests. We'll get a sense for how to structure an Angular 2 app and how to use things like components and services. And then we'll also talk about some of the things that Angular 2 uses, but that are more just kind of new paradigms or technologies within web development in general. So these would be things like TypeScript, which is the language that Angular 2 is written in, and also things like observables, which are used in in Angular 2 and are becoming very popular in web development in general. So that's the basic idea for the course. And to kick things off, we'll talk about TypeScript and see how to use it and talk about why it's useful.